For those die-hard Harry Potter fans, the day has finally arrived. All around the world, people are celebrating the release of the final book in the series. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows has drawn massive speculation. Does Harry go back to Hogwarts? Is Professor Snape really evil? And who dies in the end? I think Hermione might. I'm not sure. The Harry Potter series is beloved by both young and old. In a recent survey, nearly 30% of adults said they had read at least one book. The lovable teenage wizard has inspired an entire generation of children to read. This is so good. Anybody would want to read it, but just read the first one. And this final installment is no different. I'm really excited. How about Can't wait to get it and read it. Librarian Carol Green says the excitement surrounding this final book is unprecedented. She says bookstores have broken sales records and the library started a hold list as soon as the book had a title. You can see the kids are just waiting to see what happens. Analysts estimate within the first 24 hours, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows will sell between 7 and 8 million copies. It's the ultimate battle between good and evil. This book coming up is going to be just, I mean, it's going to be the ultimate test. Author J.K. Rowling has said she experienced grief in writing this final Harry Potter novel. Her stories have spread to more than 200 countries and have been translated in 62 languages. Green says it's all because of the kids. This would not have been a phenomenon if it had not been for the children reading it. And in Chattanooga, for some, this final book is like saying goodbye to a friend. It's the ending of a good thing, but all things must come to an end.